This is Aziz Shavershian, a child who with his brother's help would go on to become one of the most influential fitness icons of all time. A bullied video game enthusiast for his early life, it wasn't until his brother started going to the gym that an inspired Aziz would go on to become Aziz. While having one of the most insane three-year body transformations of all time, more impressive was his confidence transformation, which would later set an example for millions of insecure teenagers and younger men. Z's is one of the best fitness and health role models of all time, in my opinion. An influencer before influencers. He just didn't care. He just wanted to be himself. And many regarded him as a god. A mixture of his personality, trolling, and an exciting lifestyle, his controversial character attracted millions of fans, along with plenty of hate. Ziz, Zyz, whatever the f I don't even know. I don't like your videos, you're ugly, okay? Ziz is just an ignorant steroid f Except, Ziz seemed to thrive on this hate. He was trolling the exact people he had had enough of when he was skinnier. But Ziz seemed to have cracked the code early on and was set to become the biggest influencer in the industry. He was, he was in a lot of pain, a lot of hurt, because he, deep down, he's, he's still that skinny kid. He's had, had the body of his dream and all this fame thrown at him. And how do you think he dealt with it? I'll be telling the story as this to my grandchildren, no? As the legacy grew, a small company called Gymshark was forming. Heavily inspired by Z's, the owners would sell the clothing he had often wear. Now, to this day, whether indirectly or directly, Z's has inspired more people to go to the gym than any influencer ever could. Despite spawning plenty of annoying fans who seem to have taken the wrong things from Z's, the core values at the heart of it, still lacking today in the industry, is why the Z's legacy and his positive impact remains immortal. But what happened to Z's, and why is he viewed as such a god? In 1986, Sergei, a university lecturer, and Maya, a cardiologist, had their first child, Saeed. Three years later, Aziz was born. The captain of a school chess club, finishing top of his grade out of hundreds of students. While Aziz was highly intelligent, like his older brother, he was much smaller than the others in his year. He would often get his lunch money stolen and chalk dusters thrown at him. Initially, he coped with the bullying by retreating to his bedroom to play video games. But after being inspired by his older brother, who had started going to the gym, Aziz sold his World of Warcraft account for around $500, enough for a one-year gym membership. The brothers' confidence started to grow, so they ventured out to festivals and raves, where they developed a love for trance music. Aziz would frequently upload videos and posts to a rave forum, where he could talk to people who shared the same passion. He was particularly well known for trolling, where he'd bait other people on the internet into reacting to his often ironic posts. Of course, with time, Aziz became more into fitness, and moved over to the bodybuilding forum, with this post, after just a few months of training, you can see where he decided to go all in, taking PEDs extremely early on, with a goal of looking like this, in just one year. Surely, another troll. And this was the rise of Z's. Aziz refined his trolling. Instead of taking himself seriously, he played into the Ziz character and the self-obsessed stereotype which came with it. Now, of course, this attracted plenty of critics. But your personality is very sh It's just disgusting. Come at me, bruh. Come at me, bruh. You moron? You moron? You moron, bruh? Political views? Whichever polit politician is most aesthetic. Barack Obama is pretty aesthetic for a politician, so... He deserves to run the country. Haters gonna hate. A combination of trolling, his improved physique, and boosted confidence resulted in his following growing exponentially. So Aziz gave everyone more of what they wanted, falling deeper and deeper into character. The only thing that matters in life is having a tan. 
As his fame skyrocketed, he tried to share the spotlight with his brother and friends. The group was named the Aesthetics Crew as a joke, and after a post from his brother titled Are You Miring My Chesbra went viral, he was given the name Chesbra. Season the Aesthetics Crew was set to become extremely successful. By age 22, with around three consistent years in the gym, Ziz had built an elite physique, impressive regardless of what he took. And although it is obvious to most, that Ziz was not to be taken completely seriously. As he became more well known, the overly aggressive people he liked to mock would attack him physically in public. These three guys jumped as and jumped my mate Adam from the back of behind him and started punching into him, like bashing him for no reason. Is that any way to fucking live life? Not being able to fucking go to a festival that you enjoy with your mates, with your girls, to listen to the music, to have fun, and you've got to worry about fucking kid pieces of shit trying to fucking jump you and punch you just to, just to get a name for themselves. Despite the fame beginning to catch up to his ease, to the point where he later seemed to regret the whole Ziz character, he pushed on, making event appearances and going on TV, with plans to change the direction of his content, after realising the power of his influence and his positive impact. So what exactly was it about Aziz that's kept his legacy alive to this day, and why is he viewed as such a god? The most obvious initial thing was that Aziz had an extremely desirable before and after transformation, which most teenagers can relate or look up to. I remember choosing gym as a sport in grade 11, and everyone was like, what the f*** are you doing here as? You're a f***ing skinny guy. And I was like, yeah, whatever. Then I showed five years later, look who's the king, bro. Look who's the king. You mad? But it wasn't just his body he transformed. It was his attitude and confidence which stands out most. It was always like three or four girls. They were always like, Roy Muncher, Roy Muncher. And I'm like, you're my son. And they're like, no, looks disgusting. Head is gonna hate. Instead of using his training and size to intimidate, which felt quite typical of bodybuilders, he tried to inspire people. Ziz had broken the mold. Much like he liked to play his favourite video game character, Cloud Strife, he was playing Ziz in real life, which he also seemed to view as a game. Instead of intimidating bodybuilders, which so many associate with the gym, he brought something different and would frequently stick up for skinny teenagers trying to gain muscle and care less about the opinion of others. And of course, he liked to lead this by example. You mad, son? You mad, bro? You mad? But perhaps one of the most important things was how open he was, valuing honesty over everything. I think that every influencer, they all have a degree of responsibility and a duty of care. Because essentially, you've got an audience yeah. watching your every f move. So my theory behind that is you just got to be honest. From the get-go, we did not lie to anyone. We just kept it real, you know what I mean? We just said, look, this is our life. This is what we do. Come on, come on. <laughs> not too often. <laughs> well, what's left for them? <laughs> Ziz never claimed to live a perfect life, and even though he may have made some questionable decisions, his integrity, which is probably the most important value that an influencer can have, has kept Ziz immortal. I'm going to be a business analyst. As you can see, I'm quite articulate. Admire my eloquence, bro. My nonchalant nature in general is just unbelievable. Perfection. Everything. But behind this ultra-confident character was Aziz, a human now with a perfect godlike image to maintain. Girls don't know about my secret internet nerd life. They do, it's just embarrassing. You gotta keep them on the down though. that knew Aziz personally, he was a completely different person to what you saw online. You know, he was goofy, he was dorky, he was funny, he was sweet, charming, like amongst all the confidence and all the self-love, he was also a very insecure guy. He had many times in his life where he was, you know, he was down in very tough places and you just, we never saw that, um, we never saw that side of him. He was too scared to walk by himself, he was too scared to go to shopping centers by himself. That's what you people don't understand. That he needed to bring two or three of his mates everywhere he went just because of the anxiety 
and the paranoia that he used to get from going out. What's wrong? Fuck you. No, tell me what's wrong. Talk to me. I'm here for you. You've got to have your protein shake. Nah, come on. What's the real reason, Az? Come on, tell us. As Aziz grew older, he became more mature, even hinting here that he was done with being Aziz and all of the fake people in his life. Every festival he went to, he'd be approached by as many as 500 people who would often treat him poorly. Because of this, he wanted his viral videos taken down and in the end, settled on a plan to redefine his image as to make it more obvious when he's being serious and when he was not. He realised the true value he got from playing Zs was being able to inspire, so he began to focus on exactly that. Everybody asks me what the f*** is this about? What the f*** is up with those videos? Come get up yourself. It's a act. There is no Zs. Everyone has a little bit of Zs in them. Every one out there, you're a sick you want to be part. None of this fing sad. We're all gonna fing make it, bro. That's it. Now set on going down this more inspiring route, Aziz decided to take a holiday to Thailand before getting back to work. Towards the end of the vacation, Aziz texted his brother to let him know he was going to extend his trip, to which Said told him to come back already as his family missed him. He was originally supposed to come back on the 5th of August, but it was not until the 8th that they finally got a knock at the door. Only, it was not Aziz, but a police officer holding his death certificate. He had passed away at a hospital in Thailand due to heart failure. The fitness industry had lost Aziz, but Saeed had lost his best friend and brother. This whole this thing, it got to him in the end and it was also part of the reason why he's passed away. You know? because he got too much for him. He felt constant pressure to look good, look the part, be the character, and put pressure on his body, and this is what happens. This is what happens, I lost my brother. After the news sank in, Saeed fell into a deep depression, falling from 83 to 70 kilos in just 6 months, at which point he picked himself back up. It was time to spread his little brother's legacy. To those of you who still think that Z's is a horrible role model, let me ask you this. Why must role models always be virtuous? They don't have to be. At one point in time, he was super skinny growing up. The dude put on a lot of muscle, right? So quite naturally, he's going to be an inspiration to anybody yeah. looking to build up their physique. But it's not okay to look at Z's and say, he did cocaine, he did ecstasy, he partied like that, and I want to do it too. I can almost guarantee you if Z's was here today, he would tell you guys straight out, dude, this up and I made a mistake. The example that Z set in a positive fashion by transforming his physique and his life is great, but even more than that, his flaws, his mistakes have helped people avoid following in, in his footsteps. In that respect, I think he makes a fabulous and perfect role model, showing both the good and the bad together. Everyone's human, and he showed that. There's a lot of things that Aziz was uh, feeling on the inside of his mind as well that a lot of us can really, really never tap into unless we knew him personally, you know what I mean? I think it's important, especially now more than ever, to be mm -hmm. talking about mental health. And, you know, exactly just, like even now, like I'm, I'm, I'm finding it hard to just to speak about it and breathe because it's such a topic that's so close to my heart. <sighs> I've made this video a fundraiser for a mental health charity. So to support this channel or video, please consider donating as anything will be greatly appreciated.
If even one of the most outwardly confident people in the fitness industry struggled with mental health at times, that just shows why everyone should strive to improve their mental in addition to physical health. While bodybuilding for aesthetics isn't for everyone, if done right, they will always remain a very valid option for people looking to improve their confidence and lives in a major way. Ziz was not a person, but a personification of a way of life in which you believe in yourself fully and care less about what people think. And while Saeed lost his best friend and brother, the legacy he created, Ziz, is very much still alive.